to the third point that is a data collection preparation pre-processing once you are appropriately identify your data you need to shape that data so it can be used to train your model so we have to find identify our data and input to our requirements so we can process it later on the focus is on the data centric activities necessary to construct the data sets that can be used to train your models the focus uh, data centric activity has been as is must perform for the modeling operation and data operation task included data collection cleansing aggregations augmentations, labeling, normalizations and transformation as well as any other activity for structured, unstructured and structured data. Data preparation and cleansing tasks can be a substantial amount of time. Surveys of machine learning developers and data scientists show that data collection and preparation steps can take up to 80% of machine learning project times. So here we can see this is the data collection and preparation it can take up to 80% of the project times once the data is formally prepared and very well prepared then you can use to your project based uh, project in, in project to get required outputs so this is the very, very important point. As the saying goes, the garbage in and garbage out, since the machine learning models need to learn from the data, the amount of time spent on preparing and cleansing is well worth it. So means, yeah, you have to data prepare prepare karna padega, usko order me lana padega, and usko processing ke ready karna padega. So, itna achhe se data prepare karoge na, to wo utna achha apko result dega. So this is what they meant. So the data collection preparation for the and pre-processing the procedure during the data preparation collection and cleansing process the first one is the collect data from the various source second standardize the format across the different data sources replace incorrect data enhance and augment data add more dimensions with pre-calculated amount of and aggregate information as needed Enhance data with third party data. Multiply image based data sets if they aren't sufficient enough for training. Remove extraneous information and, dedupl and duplication or deduplications. Remove irrelevant data from training to improve results. Reduce noise reductions and remove ambiguity. Consider anonymizing data. Normalize of standard data to get it formatted ranges. Sample data from large data sets. Collect karna hai. Select features that identify the most important dimension and it is necessary to reduce dimension using a variety of techniques. Split data into training and test variables. Jo bhi mention hai na pe, the uh, preparation, collect data and so all those things. These are the all standard procedures to prepare the data, to collect the data and to clean the data. These are the standard procedures we are we doing here. Sir, so the data pipeline and uh, machine learning can be here. So in purple color the training pipelines are here and the green is inference pipelines in the purple line they have mentioned that the data is in original state which travel through scrubbing that and scrubbing is operation will give the clean data after cleaning data the vectorizing process is carried out to selected data and the selected data can be split into two sets the training sets and the train set or test sets the selected data splitting to test sets can be sent to validation and that validation can be done validation after validation the evaluation is process is carried out and the evaluation 
has been done later on the evaluation can be optimized to machine learning models here on the left side tree you can see this the training data sets can be again sent for the training for machine learning models this is the how the purple pipelines works now coming from the green new or never seen data is scrubbing process has been carried out to clean the data and that uh, cleaned data is gone under through the vectorizing process and the selected data will be interference with the machine learning model and after that machine learning model if the prediction has uh, for the machine learning can be predict the model data sets this is how the <coughs> training pipelines and interference pipelines are both needed in order to continue train machine learning models so this is how generally train sets or the pipelines can be used to carry over the machine learning model to get the model data sets now here we can see in this pictures there is a cnc machine uh, is given the milling cutter accelerometer and the DAK is also mentioned the workplace and the computer is given and on the side of that uh, on the machine arm the accelerometer, accelerometer is also attached now these are the specific assembly to identify the data collection preparation and pre-processing can be done here now the collection of data that means in terms of vibration signals for monitoring milling tool health machine cnc milling mix uh, mtap compile mill cutting tool face milling cutter diameter 60 mm with four inserts workpiece cast iron machine operation face milling the data acquisition system ni 9234dq accelerometer Isolatric sensitivity 10.26 micro VG machines parameters speed 900 rpm feed 2000 meters millimeters per minute and DOC 0.25 mm. This is the class data table. This is the operations data table. Data set tables can be shown here. Now these are the standard procedures, standard machine specification which is mentioned here to collect the data.